Hello everyone. Uh, in my previous video, I already talking about how to create REST API from Superbase table and convert to the REST API and consume it to Flutterflow as a list view. And in this time, I'm gonna create some tutorial to create some function on Superbase database. And I will again convert to REST API and then I will consume it into Flutterflow. But in this case, uh, I will try to implementing on the chart widget as a line chart. So, um, but uh, for those of you guys that uh, have been watching my previous video, I think it's better uh, if you uh, watch that video first and go back to this tutorial. So let's uh, begin the tutorial. This is my super best uh, database. And as you can see, uh, I added uh, the new table, cells table, and the structure is like this. I just uh, added three or yeah three or two column uh, transaction that with that data type and total with integer data type and then i uh, inserting the dummy data into the cells table with the query and after i uh, inserting the dummy data i create some query to select uh, the data and grouping by transaction data, and also I summary total for each day, and the result will be like this. As you can see, the data uh, is grouping by transaction data, and after I successfully create the syntax or query to grouping in the data, I create some function from that query. I put the query inside and define the column that you wanna show on the function. And after that, um, like uh, my previous video, I tried to testing my REST API and I'll go to API doc and then select the sales group, click the best tab and then copy the URL into your Postman or Insomnia to to make sure the REST API is uh, is true or it can be running. And as you can see, I already add uh, the new uh, REST the new uh, request. I will uh, start from the beginning, add new HTTP request, and then change method to the post and copy copy past the URL. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, adds uh, standing for header, and you have to add the header into your Insomnia or Postman. API key. and authorization you can get the the value from setting api and after that uh, we can testing the rest api Okay, all data show. After uh, the testing is a success, 
we can uh, go back or we can jump to to the flutter flow so as you can see this is the last project that i already created in my previous uh, tutorial video i add some patch new patch chart patch and inside the page i add the chart widget and uh, and uh, on the chart widget, I add some backend query. Okay, uh, maybe I will try from, I will start from beginning. I will delete this chart widget. Chart and And on the chart widget properties, uh, on the chart data. Okay, before of that, on the call, on the chart, click the backend query. And uh, from API call, but uh, sorry, I I I already create or already add some API call. Like the postman, you just uh, need to put the URL and then add the header like this. And then after that, uh, you have to uh, click the test API call. And after you get the response, uh, you add the, you have to add the just for JSON pad. For example, I will delete the JSON pad and add again. Okay. And back again to the chart on the backend query. Uh, choose the API call and Click the API call, confirm, and on the properties tab, click the data, from number of list, and click the sales response. In this option, click the, because we are gonna parsing the X data the, so uh, we can choose for uh, that And for the Y data, choose total. Y data is else. We can show the label. Okay, and after that, uh, okay, click uh, test. Test mode. Okay, yes, uh, you can see the data is successfully retrieved on the chart and and for 
make sure the data is uh, correct. Uh, for example, the first data is five. And if we go back to the super best, as you can see, the first data is five, and for the last data is ten. It's ten. So um, I think uh, that's it for for this tutorial. As usual, if you guys have any question, just feel free to asking me on the comment section below. Thank you for watching.